Hey there, it's Matt, and welcome back to Practice Perfect University. Today I'm going to show you how to use the customized documents in Practice Perfect. These are the same customized documents that I created in Part 1. Class is now in session. Step 1. To access a list of your patient's documents, first select them in either the Client View or the Scheduler, and then select Activities by Documents from the Function Bar. This is a list of all the documents stored on the patient's profile. This chart works as follows. The doc type indicates what kind of document the file is, whether it's a practice perfect form, a Microsoft Word document, or an Excel sheet. The document date indicates the day that the document is referring to, example, the actual date of the evaluation. The create date indicates when the document was originally created. The description tells you a little bit about what the document refers to. The document type indicates what kind of document it is, whether it's an assessment, a reassessment, a discharge summary, etc. The provider shows the name of the clinician whose signature line will appear on this report. The status marks it as complete or incomplete. But if it is an external document, like a PDF or a JPEG, it will show you that original file location instead. You can also use this drop down menu here to sort your documents by their completion status. The user tells you who added the document to the patient's record. Note that you can also use this bar at the top of the list to filter which types of documents appear in the list. This is helpful when working with a large number of documents. Step 2. Select New Document and choose the type of document you will be creating. The customized documents that you create in Practice Perfect will always appear towards the bottom of the list. Aside from the fields that are automatically inserted from the client record, the entirety of this document can be edited if needed. And as such, let's start with the title. This can easily be changed to suit your needs. Simply place your cursor on the line and make your changes as follows. Then select a category. This will appear in the document type column of the activities by document screen. Some of these fields work the same way as they do in progress notes. You can type out whatever you need to in these fields. If you find that you're frequently using the same phrases, you can store them in the Paragraph Builder. Please note that the Paragraph Builder is married to both your progress notes and your custom documents. If you make additions here, the same macros will be available in your progress notes. Some of the fields are a little more dynamic. For instance, you can use these drop-down lists to input the number of past treatments or use this icon to select the date. Step 3. Like progress notes, you may add goals or a body map to this document. To do so, select either icon from the function bar. It's also a good idea to preview the document before the next step. This ensures that all fields have been completed properly and the document appears the way that you imagined. To see a preview of your custom document, simply click the printer icon and select Preview. Step 4. When you're done, don't forget to update the status accordingly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to practiceperfectemr.com, click on Tutorials, and check out the rest of the Practice Perfect University videos. Take care.